Hey guys, I'm continuing to work on my buggy motor. This is the buggy motor that I fabricated the heat riser exhaust system for. You might want to check that video out. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, this was uh, the motor that came with the pipe frame buggy that I bought and I've been working on for about six to eight months now. It was originally a 1600 cc single port. Um, when I got it, it was completely seized. They, they broke it free with a big wrench here. You can see on the crank pulley uh, nut uh, bolt there that it, it rounded it off when they when they freed it up. It had really low compression, had a lot of problems, but it was good enough for my buggy. I drove it around all summer. But now I'm trying to do some upgrades to it. So a good friend of mine helped me over the weekend. I had bought a set of 87 millimeter slip-in uh, jug kit from uh, from Molly. Uh, got it from a friend of mine for pretty cheap. Normally wouldn't run 87s because they have thin cylinder walls. But this is just a buggy, not a road car. So I'm going to go with it because my jug kit was completely toast. Um, also got a set of heads from that same friend of mine. Uh, they were 1300 heads. We bored them out to accept uh, 85 and a half bore, which the 87s are slip fit for that. So the motor's coming along. Very excited to start it now that it actually has compression. Uh, but before I can get it going, there's one last problem I got to deal with. And this is a pretty common problem, so I want to do a video on it for you guys and show you what I think about uh, the problem and how to fix it. So, <clears throat> when you get, if you're dealing with the air cool Volkswagen, a lot of these cases are really old. They still got a lot of people running original factory VW cases from the 60s and 70s. These motors are still running strong. And you get into doing your oil change, and of course, this is the bottom of the case. Uh, you have a strainer that goes up in here and you have I guess you could call it the oil pump or the oil sump cover or plate depending on what you'd want to call it but when you take that off there are six studs in the case that take little nuts like these they're like a cap nut but those get stuck on there because a lot of these haven't had oil changes in I mean most people out there these dubs they just they just take the drain plug out and they leave the plate they never drop the plate and they never drop the strainer they just keep draining the oil and refilling it so these cap nuts are sometimes been on there for I mean, decades potentially and of course they get seized on and then you go to take the strainer off, you have this problem. These little studs start pulling out of the case. And that can be a really big problem because if you look up inside here, this is the pickup tube for your oil. Get your oil pump. Mine's pretty solid in there right now, even though it's missing a nut that would go up through this stud hole. On the back side of that stud, there's this nut that holds that pickup tube in place. It goes on the long stud. I actually noticed this a couple of months ago when I drove the buggy to the tech school and the kids were working on it. And when I did an oil change, I ended up finding a 10 millimeter nut, a lock nut, in the strainer. I'm like, geez, where did this come from? Well, it happened to be the 10 millimeter lock nut that is holding the pickup tube in place. So even though mine's rugged in there right now, there's a potential that this pickup tube could come loose and start floating around in the engine, maybe even contact something inside the case and cause some damage. So, or cause a loss of oil pressure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, long stud with the cap nut on it and I'm going to double nut the other side of this so I can get the cap nut off. I'm going to reinstall the stud up into the case with a new lock nut inside the case. And I'll show you kind of how I hold that with a set of pliers. And we're going to make sure we torque that down so that the, the um, pickup tube doesn't end up going anywhere. Here's how you fix the stud that has a cap nut locked onto it. I'm going to take another six by 1.0 threaded knot 
that's going to have a 10 millimeter head on it. I'm going to put that on. I'm going to take one of the cap nuts, which is also, of course, a 6x1.0. Put those together. I'm going to double nut them together. They are double nutted. I am now going to go like this, break the stuck cap nut free. And it's coming off. So the cap nut is free. Go back to where I double nutted these. Loosen those. Now I've rescued the stud. Let's power wire brush the stud. What I've done is I've double nutted the long stud again and I have a brand new lock nut, six millimeter by 1.0. And I'm going to thread the long stud up through the hole. Until, and I double nutted it so I have something to use for leverage. And I'm gonna watch until I see that stud coming up through the case on the inside. Okay, I can see it up in there. You guys probably can't see it, but I can see looking up and through here that the stud is just appearing. Now, I'm gonna take these curved pliers with the nut. I'm gonna set that nut right in there on the stud as close as I can. This isn't totally easy. I'm going to attempt to start the nut. Okay, so I've got the nut started. And if you're doing this, you need to have a little magnet because that has fallen off several times. I've had to pull it out. I've adjusted the angle a little bit. I'm hoping you can see it better. The nut is there. It started on the stud. Now, you can't really get a wrench up there, so I'm going to use a trick. I've got some curved jaw pliers. I'm going to put one jaw against the pickup tube body, the other jaw against the corner of the nut. I'm going to squeeze together and start threading that further with a little more strength than I can do with my hand. And it's going. I'm going to try to be careful not to mire up the nut too much or the pickup tube because any little shavings is going to go right into the case. So trying to be careful here. That's about all it'll take. It won't go anymore. So when you reach that point, see what it's doing is the, the lock nut is kind of contacting a little piece of metal in there on the uh, pickup tube. So what you got to do is I got a ratcheting wrench on here. I'm going to put the stud a little bit further up into the case. And again, I'm going to go back, play my little pliers game. Because this thing's got to be fairly tight, guys. And it's going. It's going. Okay, it might have reached its limit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hold pressure against the nut and the pickup tube with the pliers. I'm gonna take my other hand, I'm gonna start engaging the stud up into the case while holding it to tighten it down a little bit. And what I'm looking for is I want that stud up through the nut all the way past the nylon insert on the lock nut so that I know it's gonna be in there tight and the lock nut is engaged. Not quite there yet. What I'm gonna do is keep playing this little game. Now I'm gonna back the, I'm gonna back the stud off to bring the nut closer to the case, okay? But not loosening the, nut, the lock nut. Then I'm gonna grab it again and tighten it to keep pushing the stud up further and further in the case, drawing the nut, the lock nut further down towards the bottom of the case. You're gonna have one heck of a grip on those pliers to make sure that it's not just spinning up in there. 
Okay, I've gone about as far as I can for now. Let's see. All right, the stud is completely through the lock nut, probably by 16th of an inch. Now, what I'm going to do is undouble nut these. Okay, the height of the stud coming down is comparable to the other studs that are there. The lock nut is fully engaged. I'm confident that that's not going to be going anywhere. As I put the cap nut on and press the, the plate, all that's going to do is to further pull, just keep everything secure. The lock nut's not going to wiggle off in the back, and we know that the pickup tube is totally uh, secure. No fear of that coming loose. This job is done as far as uh, fixing that uh, missing lock nut on the pickup tube. Now I'm going to do the, basically the same thing with any of the other studs that pulled out. I'm just going to power wire brush them, double nut them, break them free, put the studs back in. If this is a brand new case, you could Loctite them back in. That is so oil impregnated, Loctite's not going to work. So just keep your uh, studs clean. Even maybe put a little bit of Never Seize on the cap nut so that um, when you do secure the strainer and the um, drain plate, uh, the sump plate on onto the motor it's you're gonna be able to get it off again it won't pull the studs out next time hopefully this helped you uh, let me know in the comments what you've done to fix this if you have a different way of doing it and uh, make sure to subscribe guys and share these videos with other people with Volkswagens keep these things on the road